Okay, Boker Tov. Today's staff is staff pay tests in Gittin. Mishnah said, we learn again for Porshlein for Yosef, Zerah Ben Chaim Michal, and for Elizabeth Ben Ruma. Mishnah said that if there's a rumor went out that somebody's been married, you have to uh, take notice of that, that rumor. and Don't let her get married to somebody else without getting a divorce first. Uh, same thing if she's been divorced. She's been divorced, there's rumor she's divorced, you don't let her stay with her husband's a coin. She obviously can't get remarried based on a rumor. You have to have some proof, Adam, you know, something important. You want to let her get remarried. But if there's a rumor that she's been divorced and her husband's a coin, you got to check things out. In other words, we take notice of these rumors. However, it depends on the rumor. It's not some rumor that they made up. It's got to be that there's real evidence to it, as Gemara is going to explain. So the Gemara from the top of uh, pay test, the second line in pay test says as follows. Amar Abba. Yes, Hashem is on Let's say there was a rumor that a uh, single girl was not married, but there was a rumor that she was um, uh, she was uh, being intimate with Goyim or uh, an Evet, somebody that she's not allowed to marry, and that would prohibit her, that would turn her into a Zona and uh, disallow her from being married to a Kohen. Again, a woman who simply had a relationship with a Jewish man when they were, uh, let's say she was single, is not prohibited from marrying a Kohen. Kohen can't marry a Grusha, a Chalusa, a Rabbanan, and he can't marry a Zona, but a Zona is only someone who was who slept with somebody that she's not allowed to. She's not allowed to get married to. She's not supposed to sleep with anybody if she's not married. But we're talking about somebody who's not allowed, who slept with somebody she's not allowed to marry. So if there was a rumor like that, in Choshala, you don't assume that just some people said, oh, she's sleeping with a guy. You don't know that. My time of preaching, so Yamahu, the Chazula, they saw some uh, improper behavior on her part. Maybe she was uh, kissing him or talking to him or whatever, holding hands. You don't know if just a rumor went out. You don't trust that. It's actually a machlok. It's not about that. The first Rav Meir is going, is, he's very, very strict. He says simply if she ate in the uh, marketplace, that's that's considered a promiscuous behavior to do something which is lewd for a woman shouldn't be doing that stuff. Eating in the market by herself or Girgur Bashuk, she went around with outstretched neck. In other words, she went around walking promiscuously. And Ika Bashuk, or she nursed in the market. Today, they nurse all over the place. You know, they're, you're, you're sitting somewhere and they put a blanket over the baby and you don't know what's going on. So Bakulam Rameyer says, Tate she should leave her mayor. Based on that alone, she's just acting acting uh, in an uh, improper manner in the uh, shuk. He says, no, you got to leave. If she's married, uh, you have to assume that uh, this is improper and she should leave the marriage. Rameyer is very strict. Rameyer says, no. Moses is a is a is a phrase that literally means women who who spin they sew in the moon by the light of the moon. Meaning it's from the time that the Yentas start talking about her. You know, when the Yentas start talking, that's already more serious. Not simply somebody who uh, you know ate in the in the shuk or you know, she was nursing in the shuk. Uh, a married woman, she has to leave her marriage out. Now they got to be. It's got to be when the when the yentas are talking about her. Well, they want to prevent her. Yeah, yeah, they shouldn't be doing that. Correct. Shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't be doing it. Maybe, maybe they're maybe there's always you know Chavos Chaim is a whole safer about that. When are you allowed to talk? So here maybe they're probably in Shaduchim and they're trying to set her up as they're looking for a nice. Girl for this Jewish uh, boy from Lakewood or from near, and, uh, and they're saying, "Well, this girl is doing such and such." We don't assume such. There are times when you're allowed to speak. Yeah, says, hey, he's yeah he's very strict. He's very strict. But Rakiva says no. Uh, just based on the fact that she's nursing a baby in the in the shuk, that's not a reason to leave. The only from the time that the enters are speaking about her. So this is a machlokas. Is it, is it simply would you leave it? The Rabbi says that. You're not worried about something, some a rumor that she was uh, uh, that she was having relations with a uh, guy. You don't pay any attention to it. So it's a machlokas. Rameir says even something much less than that. She has to leave room. Kiva says if the enters are talking about her. said a third opinion. Said to Kiva, You're not allowed any any woman to be dismissed from her husband but, uh, based on rumors if she has enemies. Rashi says that uh, maybe somebody doesn't like her. And uh, based on that alone, you know, um, you, you're going to, she, she, she has enemies, and they're going to spread a rumor that uh, she's fooling around with somebody, that she's, she's acting improperly, and you're going to say that she has to leave a marriage based on that. But Torah, Torah says, if he found 
uh, something immoral, uh, immoral behavior in her part. The husband, why would he divorce if he found something immoral about her? Well, and Omer, Alpishnai made him, oh, Alpishnai made him, Yopim Dov, it's got to be Adam, Alahon Dov, or Bar, it's got to be something clear, meaning with Adam witnesses, Afkan Dov, or Bar. So you don't dismiss a woman based simply on some wild rumor. But Amisha did say, uh, the mission did say that if, a, that if a, uh, a rumor went out in the city that she's married, she is considered married. So what, under what circumstances, or if she's divorced, she had to, well, rumor went out she's divorced and her husband's a coin, she has to leave the marriage. On what, uh, on what uh, circumstances are those rumors based? So now the Gemara is going to detail that. Turn about at the two dots about 10, 11, 9 is on the page. Turn about Ba'ula, it simply, simply said that there is a single girl who is no longer a virgin. That's what they said about her. You don't pay any attention to that. Uh, let's say a rumor went out uh, the chalutza that she's been uh, that she had chalitza at her you know she removed her husband's shoe also in chalshimla in the sue in chalshimla somebody says he's married in other words just because somebody says not married oh she's been married for a while what do you mean we didn't know she was married there was always was anybody at the wedding no nothing like that arusa that she's engaged also in chalshimla shalola ploni she was engaged but we don't even know to who. They didn't say who it is. She's engaged. Also in Koshla. Okay, she got married now, but in another city. Anybody, any of you guys get an invitation? We didn't hear about this. In another city. In Koshla. Mamzeras. You, uh, uh, you didn't know that she was. All of a sudden, they say she's a Mamzeras. Also in Koshla. Shifcha. People say she's a slave woman. Also in Koshla. Hikdish Ploni Nechasla. Let's say somebody said, oh, you know what? That millionaire, uh, he sanctified all his, uh, dedicated all his assets to the base of and he can no longer use his fields and his assets. Uh, with the, you know, with the uh, with the government coming and say, okay, if it wants to make sure you have to, you're you you're now all your assets are removed. Also, or hifker plan chasef, or he abandoned all this stuff. Ain choshelah. We don't pay any attention to any of those rumors. In other words, we don't give many credence. Amrula. So what are we speaking about? And our mission, mission said that you do pay attention to rumors of she was either widowed or divorced. Amrula lo shishamakolva. You didn't just hear a rumor like an echo, meaning. With no substance to it. When is it considered a rumor when people say somebody was married? For example, you saw like what takes place at a wedding. People lit the candles, the mitas mitsuas, and they had the chairs set out, the chairs or the couches, whatever, spread out. People are all coming in and out and saying, Mazel tov. Boom, and they say, She's getting married today. She's going to get married today. Then, like, maybe. Maybe, uh, you know, they had a fight and the marriage didn't take place. She got married right today. In other words, when there's rumors, there's wedding invitations, there's, uh, there's caterers, there's all that kind of stuff that goes on at a wedding, then we accept the rumor. You didn't just hear some rumor based on a on no stuff. Because women are also spinning by the, you know, the, maybe they're helping with the uh, wedding uh, costumes, whatever. Uh, the wardrobe, uh, the law, and they're making her happy. They're dancing with her for almost, and they say, Plotus, because this lady's getting married today. That's a valid rumor. Miskadesh is again, she's getting married today. But don't like it, maybe she didn't get married at the end. In other words, there's got to be some sort of a wedding taking place. People are going around talking. There's a, it looks like there's a wedding. There's chairs set up. There's a chuppah, all that kind of stuff. Then, it, then it's proper. Then, it, then you pay credence to the rumor. And if she wants to marry somebody else, now she's got to get a proper divorce from the from the first guy that she's rumored to be married to. He also explains it, but he explains it this way. Again, you didn't just hear Stama rumor. Again, you have to have candles lit, and the couches are spread out, the seats are set up. And people are going out saying, if they said something, they would call. Okay, that's a valid rumor. They said all this. Low armor if they didn't say it. Zewa Masla. That's what we call qualification. The Mishnah said, when do you believe the rumor? When do you have to take it into consideration? If there was no qualification, but let's say there was a qualification. For example, they said, the Mishnah said, if um, <laughs> there was a Kedushan al Tanai, or he divorced us, but it's not either divorced or al Tanai, or, or he said he threw the Kedushan out of the Shtar, it's not clear if it was closer to her, closer to him. They're, we're not sure about it. Oh, so he said that's a qualification that would that would uh, nullify the uh, the rumor, but here he says the mission. He says this is what Rabbi Barachan Rabbi Yochan said. If they said all this, these things took place: the, the candles and the going out and the dancing and the the, the couches, etc. That's a call. If they didn't say it, that's a qualification. What do you mean that's a qualification? If they didn't say anything, there's nothing. 
Lo Amru, if they didn't say anything, but Lo Amru, Lo Kum, nothing is said. No. Kukim Rafuna, Benaraba, made a Rabba Barafuna. And on the days we're going to see, the Rabba Barafuna said, the Amr, Hamasa Shamafim, Kama, Yamim. In the Mishnah, we said that it's a rumor. People said, oh, she was married to this guy. We heard she was married to this guy today. She got married today. But a few days later, even 10 days later, sometime later, there was a, uh, a qualification. They said, well, she got married, but we're not really sure if she, if the Kedushan reached her. Or if it's a Gerish, we're not really sure if he was Makarashur with a condition or not. Uh, could be a condition on a marriage too, even if it's 10 days later. So that's what, that's what Rabbi Arafuna says. Kamashma Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says, no. Kamashma lo omru huda v'yamasla. Right? If they didn't say anything at all, right? they didn't give this qualification of masla. Ha'omru lo v'yamasla. In other words, if they said it very clearly, she got married, Rashi says, take a look at Rashi, right? Even where we are, kamashma and hafa. Lo omru dovrzeh amasla. What does it mean? Vachit kamar. Lo gomru adovr lo tzikol makul yamim sum. They didn't say exact thing. Ela ho tzidovr. Shovar in my call, they gave the receipt or the nullification with the rumor. In other words, we heard she was rumored today. We heard she got married, but she got married to Suffolk. That's what we heard. And Rabbi Arafuna says, you can, you can even talk about that possible, you know, Suffolk in the marriage, even 10 days later. They're going to scotch from Suffolk. In other words, if they said something immediately, not that she got married. We said, if they said the Amasla right away, Right, Kamashman, Lo Amru, who davi Amasla. If they it's an Amasla, if they said it, they didn't if they didn't say something definite right now, but they said she got married, but there might be a problem with the marriage. She might not have not have been a proper fiduciary or the same negotiation. Uh, Amru, but if they said it very clearly, then Lo Amasla. Once you said it, she got married today, and there was no excuse, no qualification to that, you can't come up a week later, 10 days later, and make a qualification for it. That's what Ravelka means to say by Amru. Uh, that we said, Amru Dover Zeuka, Lo Amru Dover Masla. In other words, if they didn't say it clearly, but they said possibly there might be an excuse so right now with the marriage, might be some qualification, then it's a, then it's an Amasla. But if they didn't say it at that point, if they didn't say the um, uh, the, the qualification right away, then they can't use it later on. Again, the Lushan is it's a little strange. Lo Amru Lo Gomer Lo Gomer Dover Lo Hoti Kol Mekuim Mesum Says Rashi Lo Hoti Shofar Imakol Gonna Scotch Him Some Second. That's what it means. Again, he says, If they didn't say it, they didn't say it, meaning later on, but they said right now, it's very clear. If they said it, then there's uh, you can't have an amasa, you can't have an equal, you can't add the qualification later on. Lotion is a little bit strange. This, uh, yeah, yeah, so, Amru Dovers Zehu Kol. They said it clearly. Lo Amru Zevra Amasla. And it's not that they didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. It means that's an Amasla you can't use later on. That's what it means to say. Amru Dovers Mekuyim Suyim Sula Havi Amasla. But if they gave the Amasla up front, then you could. Okay, that's what Rabbi Rav, Rav Barchana Bar said in the name of Yochanan. And he disagrees with Rabbi Barafuna on Ahmed Beis, who's going to say you can even give the qualification later on. Amru Lavi Masla. Amru Rav Amru Rav Amru Rav Amru we said before, not that you just heard stam and echo, stam like a little rumor with no uh, substance to it, with no, uh, you know, no, no reason for the rumor. There's, you don't see any wedding take place. He says it like this. They said, before we had different opinions, he said, okay, you have to have like a wedding procession, candles, chairs, a caterer, or whatever. Here he says, like this, okay, okay. Oh, we heard this rumor. Where did he hear it from? We plenty from some other guy. Okay, Reuben heard it from Shimon. We plenty, plenty, and and Shimon heard it from Levi. We both can the Hulk and they check it out. Actually, begin with Davar Abar until they find they find out that it's really true. It's Davar Abar. If it's clear, it's true. Adis Malyasu. That's that's not a rumor. That's Adis. If you have Adis and she got married, then there's nothing stronger than that. Elkias Rav Shmuel Bar Bira Maraba Am Rav Huna Am Rav Lo Shemu Kol Doesn't mean that. Doesn't mean the way he said there's actually evidence. Rav Shmuel Bar said like this that you didn't just hear an echo or a rumor. This guy told us that she got married. Where did he hear it from? Me Ploni from from let's say Reuben heard it from Shimon and Shimon heard it from Levi Ploni. And they went overseas. The person that he heard it from is not here, so we can't verify it. In other words, there's got to be some substance to the rumor. Reuben heard it from Shimon. Shimon heard it from Levi. When we try to find Levi, he went overseas. We can't find him right now. But the point is, there's got to be some substance. So they all agree that when our mission says you heard a rumor, you have to assume that there's uh, some substance to the rumor. 
and there was some reason to believe it. It wasn't some somebody was talking. Now, once you hear a rumor and you've accepted it, can you nullify it or not? Maybe you could say, okay, when you checked it out, and uh, it doesn't seem to have any substance to it. I'm like, bitter of kiss, this is Rufus information. He says, you don't believe a rumor until you hear it from proper Adam, Shmamidam Abriel calls Mashva that you only trust the rumor if you heard it from proper people. But if you didn't hear it from proper people, you could nullify it. It's as you could. I'm like, Adarabha, literal Rabshashis, Rabshashis, I feel me clean Osham, even if you're in the room from women who aren't who aren't qualified witnesses. And that's a call. Shmam and other to call it because you know even if it's very unsubstantiated, it's only it's it's, 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 it's uh, given the rumor is is uh, was uh, started by women who are not qualified witnesses. Mashma, you can't be vatla. Even how you can vatla, how you can nullify it. Even people who aren't qualified can establish a rumor. It depends on the place. Tarvis and Rashi's Makomas Chaluk Minarik. There's different places, different uh, different uh, cities had had different Minarik. The Surah about the color in Surah, the town of Rab. They did nullify rumors. The Nardah Alamad, we'll see Nardah, of course, was the town of Shmuel. Once there was a rumor, they weren't Mavatul unless you had really strong evidence. Alamad the color. Now we have a few stories like that, uh, talking about the qualification, etc. He did not the Allah called Gesh the Barbe Rab. There was a story went out that this particular woman, let's call her Sprinza, was engaged to a Barbe Rab, a yeshiva student, right? the son from the yeshiva, Asiya Rab Hamalabu. Rahama brought her father, Amalei, Amalei, Hechiavio, but no, nobody's seen the wedding. There's a rumor that she got married, that, that she got married to this yeshiva boy. Okay. So Rahama said, I'm going to check it out. There's a rumor. We weren't, nobody was here was at the wedding. Tell me what happened. Amalei, Al Tanai Kaddish, he was Makadish on the condition at Daita, Al Tanai Kaddish, we accepted the condition at Daita, the low Oslo Bechazoi, that he won't go to that city, the Bechazoi. Bozo, and he went. So therefore, the Kiddush is not chal. I'm like, even the be'idna to have a kala lo have a masa. Since when we heard the rumor, there was no qualification. Lav kol kamidah, you're not empowered to machzek es hamasla. You are not empowered to establish the rumor. And Tosas points out over here that this is mashma like Rabbi Elchon, and not like Rav Baruch who says you could even give a qualification later on. There's rumor she's got married. Then ten days later, he said, well, it was only on a condition that the condition wasn't met. We all like Rebbe Elkanah. Rebbe Elkanah said over here, no, that we said that if they said the qualification right away, then it's a qualification. But if they didn't say it right away, they just said she's married, then you can't change it. So here, this goes like Rebbe Elkanah, apparently, that you can't give the qualification later on. If there was a rumor, we have to assume she was married, and we don't allow her to marry somebody else unless you got to get or kill the, the yeshiva boy, kill the, their husband, one of the two. Ahi, the Nafagal, called the Kishav, Ba'at Sifa, the Tuchla, there was a, a rumor went out that a woman got engaged about Sifa the Tuchla. Sifa Tuchla, Tuchla are unripe dates. And what they do with unripe dates, they leave them, the, they leave them in a basket to try to, uh, to till they ripen. After they've been, uh, after they've been picked off the, the uh, tree, the shrub, they, they uh, leave them in a basket. But these, uh, uh, Rosh explains that ripe dates, once they're ripe, they come off the pit very cleanly. But if they're unripe, some of the uh, substance of the fruit stays a test stays on the um, on the pit. So he he got engaged to her. He gave her instead of a wedding ring, he gave her this wonderful thing, this uh, residue of the fruit that stuck to the pits. It, where did he give her that? The Aina, the Beishifri, at the at the uh, spring of Beishifri, that place. I guess that was their engagement. You know, now they get engaged with a helicopter or they have some fancy way that he proposed to her. He proposed to her at a beautiful spring, but he only gave her the residue of some dates. That's the rumor that we heard that she got engaged, and that was her engagement. Uh, that was her engagement vehicle. This uh, these uh, residue of days. Even according to Shmuel's town in Narga, that they don't nullify a rumor. Here, the rumor said that he got it. She got engaged to her with uh, some date residue. Uh, here we would nullify it. Maybe how many people say? I know about people say the rabbis looked at. I know about him. They could do shavu lavi shavu puta. You didn't get any shavu puta. In other words, if, just, if it was a rumor, stam that he got engaged. Okay, no, no question. Here, the here the rumor was that she got engaged with the residue of a of a uh, of, of dates. There's that kind of that kind of rumor we can nullify. We can we can negate it, not pay attention to it because we can assume that she got married only uh, that it wasn't even a shavu puta, so it wasn't a proper condition. In the first case. Those women, they got engaged. Now he wants to add an, a, a, an excuse, a qualification later on. We don't accept that. A third case, the last line on the page. 
there was a rumor that she got engaged to one of Yankel's sons. Didn't say which one. He had a lot of boys. Ten sons, let's say. She got engaged to one of them. Even when it says you don't nullify a rumor. But here you would. People say, I don't know about it. The rabbis checked into it. The Kedush, into the Kedush. The Kedush, Cotton have one of his sons, one of uh, Yankel's sons, with a few of his sons were little boys, under bar mitzvah, and that they, they can't think of Kaddish. So just a rumor like that without saying which son. See, if you had a strong rumor, you could say, okay, you're going to get to uh, whatever, Reuben, and Reuben's 17 or 20, whatever. So you could say, okay, we have such a rumor. But here you got engaged to In other words, if the, the, the engagement has already had some problem with it because of sake one of the sons. I didn't know which one. It's a problematic, just like when he got engaged to her with the residue of, a, of, a, of unripe dates. So sometimes we are a bottle, the rumor. Another case, I did enough with the law, call up the Iktusha, the cotton. There was a rumor that went out that she got engaged to a cotton, Hanira Kagodal, but he's very tall, big boy. There was a story like that. He hasn't even gone into the separation of women. What does that mean? The Palgus, when Pasi talks about when tribe of Reuben didn't want to didn't want to go in, uh, didn't want to join the rest of the Israel with, with a war. So they said the Palgus Ruvain for separation in Gedolim took her that great are the uh, understandings or the deepness of the heartness. We can't understand what's going on. But the drusha is that Gedolim Chikrelev, only the ones who are Gedolim, meaning who are Bar Mitzvah, only they have the understanding because they're Bar Mitzvah, they're capable of getting married. So here also he said, okay, he was a, he was a short boy, he was a cotton who looked like a girl. Well, just because he looked like a girl doesn't mean anything. He's just a, an overgrown young boy. And it's not, it's, you can negate that kind of a rumor. So the given the mission said, you, you listen to a rumor, again, of this rumor that she got engaged, so she couldn't get married to somebody else unless she got she got a proper divorce. It was a rumor that she was divorced from her calling husband. She can't stay with her husband until you prove it, unless there's, unless there's, with the rumor, there's also this qualification which can nullify the rumor. I'm Rabbi Rafuna. This is, this is Rabbi Rafuna that we quoted on our mouth. You could even say, say the qualification 10 days after the rumor broke out. It was rumor that she was engaged. And 10 days later, they said, well, it was a suffix. We're not really sure how it happened. You don't actually have to have the qualification. As long as it's logical to assume that there could have been. It's like an implied qualification. We don't know. But we guess, well, maybe there was such a thing. That's how he dashes it. It says, in a place where there could be a qualification, we're concerned about it. We take it into consideration. I see what do you mean? Just because there could be a qualification? Well, the mission says, well, as long as there's no qualification, the qualification has to be there. It has to be that the rumor was spread with the qualification, not that there's a possibility of a qualification. says, no, as long as it's possible, as long as it's possible, there was no qualification with the rumor. We could assume maybe there was such an such a qualification. In other words, it's very easy to nullify these rumors because you could say, well, maybe it was qualified. You're asking me about that. Uh, you're asking me, uh, Rav Zud says, you don't actually have to, the qualification didn't have to actually mention, you could just assume maybe there was a qualification. Uh, and Rav Papa questioned him. So uh, Rav Khanna said to Rav Papa, I'll show you that you're wrong. That you don't have to actually have a qualification. Others were at the time we learned this gotcha. Now listen to this case. A woman's husband went overseas. He didn't show up. So she assumed that um, he was killed. And there's one aide who said that he died. Okay, based on that, Bezdin allowed her. Yeah, Mary, it wasn't too aiden that he died. But the Makamiguna, Kilabarabana, she was, she was a real Aguna. In those days, that was the Aguna. Today, we don't really have Agunas. We have Nasarve get. We don't have Aguna where we don't know where the husband is. Today, you can find anybody. He's got a cell phone. You could find him, right? So, Niskacha, so she got married based on one witness with Bez. Bez didn't allow her to do it. But then her husband showed up. Muteris lost her. She, she didn't get married to the second guy. She just had Kedushin, right? She, had, she was betrothed. Babal, Muteris lost her. She can go back to her first husband. Now, why can't she go back? We assume, isn't it because we assume that there was, a, there was no, we didn't know about any qualification. There was no rumor. We know she got, she got engaged to the second guy, but we assume that why is she allowed to go back to first husband? Because we assume the second guy only got married or she really loved her first husband, but he hasn't shown up. So she says, okay, uh, marry this guy. He gave her on the condition that the first guy doesn't show up. 
So isn't it because there's an assumed condition here too? That's not because there's an assumption. She didn't just get based on a rumor. She didn't get remarried based on a rumor, right? There's no there's no rumor over here. Here the issue is that the husband we thought the husband died. She got married to a second guy, and the first guy showed up. That's much stronger than simply a, a rumor uh, nullifying the rumor. Shani Yosem does Sibal Kamara, and he's complaining. He's uh, he's saying, "Look, I'm here." Uh, he's saying uh, that uh, I never I never divorced her. I never uh, I I never um, uh, I didn't I didn't plan on it. Rashi says over here uh, that in this country Yosem Tzim said Ba'af Gav Da Enusi Shari Bezna Ruli Nasa and Shmuchashe the Lolam Bezna said you know the Shashlosh the Lolam shouldn't go back to the first one. We'll see that in the second case. So what happens if she got actually married to the guy? So Hassan Basi Balmar, in other words, that's not a case where she can go back to the first guy because we're we uh we assume that the um uh that, or this guy should about we assume that the first marriage or or the second guy married her only based on a condition. Do we assume a condition? No, we don't assume any condition. We it's not because we he married her based on the condition if the first husband doesn't show up. The reason over there we allow her to go back to the first guy is because there was no there was no uh, there was no qualification at all. Simply, he didn't show up. She, she got married to the second guy. I think the first guy died. And now the first guy showed up. So the more say, and this is not me. If that's the case, why can't she go back if she actually married the second guy? Think about it. She first husband, she thought, died. And there was a witness to that effect. And she checked it out, and the Bezin allowed her to get married. And she actually married the second guy. When she married the second guy, it's not really a marriage because she's married to the first guy. If there's no first guy's not dead or divorced, then she's really married to the first guy. We say over there, she has to leave both marriages. She can't stay in the, in the first case when she was only betrothed to the second guy. She can go back to the first guy. Here she can't go back to either one. Why not? Yachi, if it's because he showed up, there was a misunderstanding over Yachi, Nisus, Nami. If Nisus, why can't she go back to the first husband? The answer is Nisus, of the source she did in Nisus, she was really a married woman who committed adultery, even though she didn't commit adultery on purpose, but she wasn't careful. Therefore, since she, since she did an Isser, she was an Asian Isser, which was effectively used in Zanaka and Surah. One of the rabbis finds her because she didn't check it out carefully enough. The rabbis allowed her. See, if you get married, let's say a woman, husband didn't show up and there are two witnesses claim that he died. We saw him dead. She got married based on that. She's not really married to the second guy. She can go back to the first guy because the second guy was a mistake. And the two, two Adams said he was dead. She can rely on that. It's not her fault. But if there's only one Adam, and best in the in fact, she's going to check it out. And it turns out she didn't check it out carefully enough. Then we give her a class and she has to leave both marriages. She has to leave the first guy because she was Mazan effectively. And also the Baal, also the Baal. So Yachin, this is, I mean, this is the Sura Kansur Abun. It's Gotcha love. So she didn't do it. So she just betrothed the guy. She accepted his ring in his marriage. All these rumors that we talk about, that, and they're really only good rumors if there's, if there's a substance to them. There was... You know, we had this guy heard it from this guy, heard it from another guy, and he's overseas, so we can't check it out. Or there was a, there was lights, there was a couch, there was a, there was a seats, a tables, and a, and a caterers, etc. So even that, but it's got to be set up in Bezin. Bezin it has to come to Bezin, and Bezin says yes, we approve it. There's a there's a good enough reason to believe that she's been married. Reasonableness, so, reasonableness, right? Call call the If it's not established in a Bezin, it's reasonable to believe that that's uh, not a Bezin. It's not a call. Any call that says, here, this woman got married. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a rumor that Reuben got married to Rivka. And now, after she got, I mean, not, I'm sorry. Not, she got, Reuben married Rivka. Clearly. Clearly, there was Adam, Adam everything. There was, there was a wedding. She got married. Rivka and Reuben, they danced away, and they, they got married. Now, there's a rumor that Rivka was married to somebody else before. So a, 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 a rumor that went out after the marriage of we don't pay any attention to that. How was Arison Khashinlog that's much, but that after Arison, if she was betrothed to Ruben was Ruben betrothed Rivka, and now there's a rumor that she was betrothed to somebody else, Smash, but that we would be concerned about it and we wouldn't let her marry a Ruben until the other one was checked out. If somebody's married or betrothed, and now a rumor came out that she was married to somebody else. We don't pay any attention to that. They sent from the from the yeshiva of Rab to Shmuel. Yom Dena Rav teaches. Listen to this. A call went out, or a rumor went out, that um, that she was married to number one. And now another guy came in, got engaged. 
Kedushi Torah. The second guy got married to a Kedusha, meaning with Adam, a ring, the whole bit, right? The proper, the proper marriage. Ma, what do you do? There was a rumor that she was married to some, if she got married or even uh, betrothed, and then a rumor came out that she was married to somebody else before, we don't pay any attention. We're not going to ruin her based on that. But let's say there was rumor first that she was married the, once to number one. She was married to number one. And now number two betrothed her. Number one's not around. Just a rumor. Right? There's a rumor that she was engaged to betrothed to number one. And now somebody else came in and said, what do you do? So Shmuel sent Tetzay. Okay, she has to leave the second marriage because we're not sure what to do. But me to boy, check it out. Try to check out what the story is. Make it clear. But the end, and let me know what you find. So it was, what do you mean, my What do you mean by that? Let me know what you find. If you find out that the first marriage that was she was rumored to be married, there was a rumor that there was a wedding and people talked about, etc. If you say that it wasn't a good condition, but you would you would nullify that rumor and let her stay married to the second guy. Nardal, this, the, the, Nardal, the question was posed to Shmuel. And Shmuel is from the town of Narda, And in Narda, they don't nullify a rumor. Unless you know for sure. But just based on what? What are you going to check it out? And you find out that uh, it's not a good condition? Well, that should nullify it, yes. But it's mashba. Even if you say that it wasn't a good condition, you don't nullify a rumor like that because uh, maybe it really did take place. And you just, you know, you, maybe the second rumor isn't as good as the first rumor, so to speak. Even if you checked out, he says illegal mills, you checked it out, the cushion wasn't the cushion, you nullify the rumor, but Mashba that she would need a divorce from the first guy before she could marry the second guy. So below me they call it Ella, the Emigla Mills, the Kedusha Kama Kedusha. Now if you find that the first condition was a good condition, right? If you say that if the condition was wasn't a good condition, you don't pay attention to that. You're Mabatal the call, but we don't Mabatal the call according in our dog. So therefore you'd have to give her a get first, even though because it was a call she was married. Maybe this one, Ima Gamil said, if you find out for sure, now when you check it out, you find, yes, she was indeed married to the first guy, to the first guy, so the second marriage is not a marriage. Ima Gamil said, the Kedusha Kama, Kedusha Malyanero, lo tzri chiget bisheni. You don't even need to get from the second guy. If the first guy marries her, if anybody, if, if, if anybody is married, Rufka is married, there's for sure a marriage there. And now for some reason, she slept with somebody else. Whatever the reason was, it was a mistake, uh, it was an accident, whatever happened, whatever the reason is, or she committed adultery with the second guy. Whatever the reason, if she's up with somebody else, is there any thought that she needs to get from the second guy? No. She's married to number one. There's no way that she needs to get from number two. Because that's what it means. When Shmuel says, check it out. In other words, there's rumor she was married to number one. And the second guy gave her a proper chuppah kedushin with a rabbi and ate him and all that stuff, right? Everything is proper. Uh, but if you find out that the first marriage was a good marriage, the second marriage is meaningless. It's, it's, you don't need to get for that. That's what he means. It loves to get be shamed. Now, this disagrees. This is what Shmuel says. He says, check it out. If you find out the first marriage, she doesn't need to get from the second guy. This disagrees with Rafuna. We had this before. If a woman accepted Kedushin from somebody, even if she's married, what, what does that mean? Why, why, is she, why is she married? She's married to the first guy. How could she marry to the second guy? But Rafuna, Rafuna, Rafuna said, If a woman tells her husband, you divorced me. She doesn't have a get here in front of us, but she says, you divorced me. Then once she's believed, Chazaka, we have a presumption, she wouldn't have the chutzpah to lie and tell her husband to his face that you divorced me if she wasn't really divorced. So if a woman who's known to be married accepts permission from somebody else with Adam, Rafuna says, she's married. She's married to the second guy, because we assume, because uh, she can say, I, first guy divorced me. Vida Shmuel will say, no, what does Rafuna say that a woman wouldn't uh, would would not have the chutz but a lie. And if she says her husband divorced her, we believe her. The fun of only to his face. Shalom, the fun of me. But if she's not in front of him, the Rafun, Rav Amun is talking about to his face. She says to his face, "You divorced me." We believe her. But we were not talking about where she was where she was uh, saying it to his face. She just accepted kedushin for somebody else. Well, accepting kedushin for somebody else if she's already married doesn't do anything. Okay, so therefore, uh, yes, Shmuel said if you find out the first marriage was the first marriage, she doesn't need to get from the second guy. Whereas Rafuna says, no, you wouldn't need to get from the second guy because she can say that she was divorced from the first guy. What happens if you couldn't, you couldn't resolve it? There was a rumor she was married to number one, and now she accepted Kedushin with Adam from the second guy. And you can't establish the rumor one way or another. So what should she do now? What should she do? There was a rumor that she was married to the first guy, and now she accepted Kedushin from the second guy. So the only thing you could do is, the first guy can give her a divorce for no sashani. 
We hope that the first guy will want to give her a divorce because what's she going to do now? Otherwise, she's stuck. So the first guy can divorce her and she can marry the second guy. Uh, obviously, if she if the second guy is not a coin, even though it's reaching low. In other words, what happened here? There was a rumor that she was married to number one, and she accepted condition with Adam from number two. And we can't establish, we don't know for sure if, if for sure we can establish that number one was a good marriage, she doesn't need to get from number two. If we can't establish that it was a good, uh, or if we say that it wasn't a good marriage, we're not about to get according to Shmuel. Let's say you can't establish either, what do you do? The only solution is for the first guy to divorce her, whether it was a marriage or not, and the second guy can marry her. Why can't she get divorced from the second guy and marry the first guy? Because then it looks like that's like the master Gushasa mission is this. That looks like the first guy married her, then the second guy married her, right? Even though the first guy didn't give her a divorce, but it looks like the first guy married her, then the second guy married her. So the first guy must have given her a divorce. She married the second guy. Now the second guy gets divorced. She can't go back to the first one. So therefore, that doesn't look good. So he says the first guy should divorce her, but also Shani, but also Shemisha and Lomai Taima. Also, then people say Master Gushasa and Ayrison that you can, and it's when they, when, when, um, when a woman is married to number one, and then divorce from number one, and then she marries number two, even if just betrothed to number two, that's all Kedushin to number two, she can't go back to number one, even if number two dies now. That's the Master Gushas Mishinissus. So that doesn't look good. Rav Shin and Rav Idiyam are Af Megav Roshani Venasurishin. He says, no, the second guy could also divorce and she can marry the first one. Maybe more people say, I need better Kedushin, because she does have it. People will say, no, we'll know that it was, if she marries the, the she can even get a Kedushin from the second guy, People won't necessarily know about it. She go back to the first guy because people will say she was married to the first guy. It's not clear that she was really married or uh, that uh, she'll, she'll get the Jewish. People will say that even though she was married to the second, she wasn't really married to the second guy because she was married to the first guy because there was a rumor that she was married to the first guy already. And now she's with the second guy. People will say, no, the second guy was a, it was a mistake. But as we should around, people say they're born and checked into it. The second condition, because she taught us how they. Let's say she wasn't really married. There was no there was no witness that she was married to number one or to number two. There was a rumor that she was married to number one, and then there was a rumor she was married to number two. What do you say there, Mao? In this case, also, the first guy should divorce and she can marry the second guy. You don't want her to divorce from the second guy and go back to the first guy. It doesn't look good. She's more to marry either one of the hills of Mutaras Shneim. Because they're both rumors. Clumber, Af Megara Shane, even though it's and I feel Rapuna Barabah. Where did Rapuna say that you can't go back where the second marriage was for sure a marriage, right? There was a rumor in the first guy, and then she was married to number two. So Rapuna says over there that um, uh, that uh, it, it won't look good, right? Because she could say she was divorced, and we, we Shmuel said, we said that if the, if you can't establish one way or another, right, uh, that um, you can't establish one way or another, Rapuna said. Megara Shrishan of Anose Shani. Right, you don't know. So the first guy should divorce and marry the second guy. Megara Shani, let's see that looks like Master This That's what the second one was for sure a marriage. Gosh, it's a Shani. So he says that because the second one was for sure a marriage, but over here, neither one was for sure a marriage. There was a rumor about the first one, a rumor about the second one. Here he says, even Rabuna's mother is going to Rashi that he wants her either one because we don't know for sure that either one was a marriage, and therefore people are not going to assume Master Shrishan of she either the first guy can give her a divorce and she stays with the second guy, or the second guy can give her a divorce and she can go back and marry the first guy because it doesn't look a master just because there was no real marriage over there. But if you found the first guy, yeah, then it's not a rumor. The, the first guy, no, the guy's around. The guy's here. That, 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 that's something that I'm not finding. We're talking about was 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 the first marriage a marriage or not? That's the issue. When you're checking it out, there was a rumor that she was married whether to the first guy. Helpful. Yeah, well, it was a good marriage. If, if the guy's there, the, the guy's there. But how do you know? He, how do you know he married her? The guy's here. How do you know he married her? Uh, asking him is that's not proof. That's not proof. It's not a rule. How do you give a no, 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 it's still a rumor. Unless you unless you have you need some proof to it. it it's it's not a rumor when there's two Adam who saw the, the witness who saw the Haram and Kudash is leaving. That's right. Then it's that's right. Then it's not a rumor. Otherwise, it's a rumor. So how do you establish? Let's say there's no Adam that the marriage took place. There was nobody there at the, at the marriage. There's nobody who we can, can't find anybody to prove that she was actually married. So it's only a rumor. You can't ask the guy. That's not doing anything. Ask him if he was married. Ask him that, that he is. He's no Gabadova. He might want to marry her now. You know, we don't know that. He's not. A, he can't be testified by himself. It's still only a rumor. So how, is, it, how do you give us? How do you give us get the real marriage? So then Rafuna says that. You know, we don't, that, that doesn't look good. So, so the second guy can't divorce her and go back to the first guy. It looks like uh, we've got massive uh, justice machinists. So what you could do is the first guy could divorce her and she could stay married to the second guy. 
he claims he's married to her, yes, and there's a rumor that he's married to her, but we don't know for sure. But if both of them are just simply rumors, then there's no problem with Mount Shasim and Yisrael, then she can marry either one. All right, but how does, how does the guy give a get in Suffolk? In, in, in the Masechet, so bring a Kedushin, we'll see if we got a chance to start Kedushin as well. Ephraim, Ephraim, how does a guy give a get in Suffolk? If 